Tracy at Phoebe's Pure Foods, and I'm here at Macy Candies. And I'm so excited to spend some time with Tracy. Tracy, artist, is the owner of Macy's Candies. How long have you actually owned Macy? I'm in my fourth year. Wow. Yep. Is chocolate in your blood? Like, is it in the family? No. <laughs> How did you eat it? <clears throat> Macy's was um, part of a memory from my grandmother. Mm -hmm. My father was in the Navy, and whenever we would travel, my grandparents would come to see us, or we would come to Lancaster. My mother's originally from Lancaster. They would always bring three staples with them, and that was Macy candies and non pearls, uh, Hammond's pretzels, and Stamus potato chips. Mm -hmm. So I grew up with Macy candies. Wow. Mm -hmm. And what, what did you do then before I was in human resources? That is like a huge change. It is. Like, how did that happen? Like, is it. <clears throat> well, I went out for a knee replacement mm -hmm. and didn't go back to work. I um, was very fortunate that I didn't have to go back to work. And Got a little bored after all the PT was over and went into a Macy candy store at the time that was in Willow Street where I live and um, they needed help so I started working part-time and then eventually came into a partnership yeah. and then bought the company well, so okay. within nine months of starting as a part-time employee I bought the company wow okay that's really exciting yeah. so we were just inside doing the <coughs> bunny molds because it's Easter season mm -hmm. and we did the hollow the mm -hmm. in the milk chocolate the solid in the milk chocolate Correct. but we didn't touch the dark chocolate and you said that the um, bunnies the solid bunnies are becoming very popular they are and it's not um, so much a, a matter of people are willing to sacrifice the calories they just like something it's a memory okay so when Originally, when chocolate um, molds were first formed, they were all hollow or they were all solid molds. They weren't hollow molds. So these are memories that people are coming back to. So as you know, in food, smell mm -hmm. is very important, and they're smelling and they're tasting. So they want those solid molds from when they were children, from their childhood. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So what about the dark chocolate? Is dark chocolate very popular now? Dark chocolate is becoming very popular because of the health. Right. Um, relationship to the cacao account. So our dark chocolate is a 70% cacao account, which is where it needs to be to sustain that healthy. So that makes your chocolate, your dark chocolate, very special. Correct. Yeah. So your chocolates, when you when you have them here in a salad dark, or even um, with like the candies that I see everywhere, mm -hmm. um, do you have like a special formula? Are you a chocolatier, or are you... We're actually Candy confectioners. Maker. Okay. Yeah. What's the We're, difference between a chocolatier and a confectioner? A confectionery company is different from a chocolate company because we don't make our own chocolate. We use um, Wilbur chocolate. So we're a Wilbur-based okay. company. Okay. And then we blend several of their dark and several of their milk to create our special blend of chocolates. Okay. So we make all the centers, which is the candy, which is confection. Like the, the caramels are yours? The caramels, the buttercreams. Okay. Every, we have over 175 pieces that we make. Okay. And the caramels are very popular. I know I see them all the time at like mm -hmm. Mr. Central Market. That's like yes. what my treat is, like mm -hmm. the salty caramel. And the caramel is so, my favorite. Okay. Yeah. That's great. So I'm curious, um, when I look at all of these um, candies, you had said there was a special story with the... The, the fancy chairs. Yeah, tell me a little bit about the fancy chairs. Yeah. And I'll get a picture of them later for everyone okay. else to see. Macy's has um, always had a cordial cherry, mm -hmm. which um, is really unique. I don't know that people are aware of how cordial cherry is made, but the cherry is dipped in our fondant, okay. um, which we make ourselves, which is very unique to a confectionery company. A lot of companies buy their fondant these days. They don't mm -hmm. make it. We make our own fondant, so we dip it in the fondant, then it cools, and then we dip it in chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then as that fondant or sugar breaks down, that's what creates the cordial oh, or the juice. I didn't know that. So yes. that's what that's how it gets like gooey and all Correct. Right. Gooey. So that's like not an injection in there oh. that is created by that fondant or when the sugar breaks down. Okay. I ordered cherries over a year ago, probably close to two years now. It was in the summertime. And I ordered the wrong cherries. I ordered cherries with stems and didn't realize it until they came in. And I couldn't return them. So my operations manager and I are like, what are we going to do with these cherries? So we dipped them in fondant and dipped them in chocolate and put some little fancy stuff on them and took them to an event just to see how that people would react to them. And they absolutely loved them. So there it is a new product. <laughs> right. Some of like, the best creations come out of like, out a mistakes. happy mistake. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, in this case, it was a happy mistake. It was and a happy beautiful. Mistake. Like, I'll get a picture so we can yeah. show them what we yeah. like. So it, when we talked earlier, you said that you're not really like a big sweet eater. So I'm not a sweet eater. And you like vanilla cake? I love, um, I'm like the caramel is my favorite piece uh -huh. here, caramel without chocolate, which uh -huh. was one of the very first pieces that Macy's made. Mm -hmm. I have to, 
we're still trying to track this down, mm -hmm. but we believe that we were the first company in Lancaster or on the East Coast to make a caramel. Wow. Because we were from 1875. Wow. So we are coming into our 140th year in business. This, will this year be the 140th? This will be our 140th year. Oh so gosh, in September, we'll start our 140th yeah. year. Okay, yeah. that's exciting. So we'll have a big celebration for that. So when you're at home mm -hmm. cooking, um, especially if you don't like sweets so much, do you mm -hmm. have like a favorite recipe that you use maybe your dark chocolate for? To make a savory recipe, like do you put it in your chili, or do you make? Um, My husband's rubs the cook at home, oh, okay. But he does make rubs um, with okay. the cocoa powder, um, and um, we love to smoke. So uh -huh. we do a lot of smoked items that we'll use the oh, chocolate. We'll okay. do smoked bacon, and we do have a bacon bite okay. um, that we sell here. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And we're out of them right now, but after Easter, we'll we'll get back to doing that. We've already purchased the bacon. Okay, and good. We'll smoke it. Okay, because I, I have to tell you, and I didn't tell you this yet, but when I came in to order for a gift basket, a client mm -hmm. asked me to do a gift basket, and you gave me the, oh, that's right. that's that, and the basket was full of, I thought, that's beautiful true. foods, <laughs> and some of it was from Lancaster Central Market, mm -hmm. and it was all local and originally right. sourced. People went bonkers for that bacon mm -hmm. chocolate. Yeah. It was like the best thing in the It's the so sweet and salt together, yeah. just like the salted caramel. So it's yeah. finally kind of caught a, I guess, in like a sweet mm -hmm. kind of yeah. trend. Yeah. Um, do you have like a signature, like when you look at all the molds and all of the candies, is there something that's very signature to Macy? Macy is known for their caramels mm -hmm. and their okay. dark vanilla buttercreams. Dark yes. vanilla mm -hmm. buttercreams. Yep. And where can you find the dark vanilla buttercream at Easter? Is it in a bunny or is it in an egg or? We have dark vanilla buttercream eggs, and okay. then we also have just our dark vanilla signature cheese. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'll have to get some of those. Yeah. Like we I have, have the eggs in. To-do list. To right. Get <laughs> we have like your traditional egg, which is about this big, and then we okay. also have quarter pound, half pound, and one pound eggs. Okay. That are decorated. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So that will have to go into an Easter basket. Mm -hmm. And um, you're very active yourself, and that's probably how you balance the. I love caramels. <laughs> I try very hard. Mm -hmm. um, it's really difficult this time of year to, to exercise or mm -hmm. to get outside of the building because I'm here pretty much seven days a week, 12 hours a day um, for the last month or two. Oh, yeah. So um, April 20th, I'll be able to get up and go for a walk mm -hmm. again. But I have, um, I did a fitness challenge with some downtown business owners and that was exciting. We went super flight fitness okay. and um, I did lose some weight and I was really going oh. on the right track. Mm -hmm. um, but now the last three weeks, it hasn't been anything but walking the dog a little bit. But, oh, yeah, well, that's better than nothing. We're very active. My right. husband and I are very active. Our kids are active. And, and it does help because I'm a true believer in moderation. Mm -hmm. um, when I was in human resources, I was the wellness director for the company mm -hmm. that I worked for. So And it's all about balance. All about balance and moderation. Right. Because mm -hmm. I think it's okay to indulge in something like this. Correct. We have to be careful of our sugars mm -hmm. and of like the white flour and all the other um, indulgences. Mm -hmm. But something like chocolate, especially dark, or even like the caramels, it's, mm -hmm. it's okay as long as balance right because if you right. remove something completely from your 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 diet mm -hmm. um, then you feel like you're starting yourself and yeah. I don't believe in the word diet at all um, it's all about balance and yeah. nutrition so okay. you, you just have to intake less than you know what you're after so yeah. and then you stay up and you lose weight Great. So what kind of, now if people want to do shopping here at the store, what are your hours here and where else can we find you? We're open um, downtown at our retail shop. We're at 118 North Water Street and okay. we're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Saturdays we're open 9 to 2. We do have extended hours on Sundays right now, so we're open 12 to 5 this coming Sunday. And then we're also at the Golden Triangle um, right next to Staples on the Lidditz Pike, oh, 1284 okay. Lidditz Pike. Um, and those hours are Monday through Friday from 10 to 6. And on Saturday, we're open on 10 to 6 as well. And then Sunday's 12 to 5. Okay. And then we're at downtown and Central Market. Which is wonderful. Yeah. Which is what I love. So make sure to pick up some of Tracy's fabulous chocolates at Lancaster Central Market here at the shop or down on Lidditz Pike. And be sure to follow my blog uh, for Big Lancaster at Phoebe Savers Lancaster Central Market at BigLancaster.com and find me at BeebeesPureFood.com to follow up on more podcasts, recipes, and great food tips and tricks. Thank you.